at the starting Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what will happen the next time you see each other. It is going to be a general reading, so please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Okay, it definitely seems like the both of you are thinking about each other a lot. You've got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, the both of you are very drawn, okay, to each other's energy. Um, and you're both trying to manifest each other or manifest a connection, a relationship from out of the situation, possibly even a reconciliation. The thing is, I do get someone's energy as i don't know if it's yours i don't know if it's theirs but someone here is well it's a frivolous type of energy so you know someone here is not as invested in the relationship as the other person or someone here isn't necessarily you know they don't want anything serious they don't want commitment they don't want a relationship uh, maybe they just want to go with the flow. Maybe they want a casual arrangement type of a situation. Maybe they want to, you know, keep their options open. It just feels like even though the both of you are really attracted to each other, you're very drawn to each other, and, you know, you both want to manifest each other. I don't think you both... I don't think you both have the same intentions for this connection. I don't think you both have those same expectations of each other. I don't. I just feel like... Um, yeah, there are high levels of attraction and don't get me wrong, you're both emotionally invested. I do. I just feel like someone here is a little bit more invested than the other person and someone here, you know, wants stability. They want security. They want a long-term relationship. And I feel like it's you. It could be the other way around, but I feel like, you know, you're the one who, given that you're in the earth sign, the earth energy, you're the one that wants a connection you know, that's concrete, that's rooted in stability, security. Um, you want a sense of, you want a commitment, right? You want something long term, you want something that's going to go the distance. You, you're in it for the long haul. This person is not so sure that they can do a relationship right now, or it's not something that they want right now. Someone here is, or maybe they're just a little emotionally infantile, a little emotionally juvenile, and maybe they think that they want those things, but they're not ready for it just yet. Or maybe they want something exactly like that, you know, without the, you know, the convenience of a relationship, without the actual commitment of it, right? So, no, you're not on the same page. You're not on the same wavelength. You guys are not, I don't think you're in vibrational, I mean, yeah, I don't think you're in vibrational alignment with one another. You do want each other, but just your intentions for the connection are very different, very different. I do think, here's the thing, I do feel like you guys are very attracted to each other, you guys love being around one another, I do feel like you share a lot of, you share a lot of things in common, and look, to be honest with you, this connection could be so much more than what it is, but I just think the intentions here are so different that that's what's kind of spoiling what this could be. You know, the Nine of Swords here, I feel like you, you both are thinking about each other a lot, you're both fantasizing about each other a lot, you're both... If you're at a disconnection here, you're both missing each other, um, missing talking to one another, communicating with one another. Um, I do feel like the magician and the fool here seem to indicate if you're at a disconnection or if this is someone who has ghosted you, I see this person coming back. And I feel like they'll do it at a time where they catch you off guard. It's very unexpected and it's very um, sudden and it's just almost like this person is going to water back into your life. I don't know if this is their energy. I don't know if this is just their overall energy. I see someone being very, like, very laid back, very chilled, like, just, you know, they don't take too much on board. They're just, you know, very, hey, how you going? Just, you know, not very, and maybe that's just, you know, that's just how they are. Like, they don't take, 
this person is so relaxed and they're so laid, laid back um, and that's just how they are it's just their demeanor you know they're very light-hearted they're very casual um, they're a lot of fun to be around um, but they don't take things seriously including themselves right someone who's just they've got this self-deprecating humor that I'm seeing um, they've got this they've got this charm they've, they've got this allure which you find very magnetic um, they've got a way about them that's definitely that but I just don't know and I'm seeing that this person does have other people around them as well and I feel like this is something that is stressing you out or this is something that you're aware of or that you intuitively um, you know can pick up on but I see that this is something that does cause you some stress and some um, you know some stress and some uh, friction here in the energies the next time you see each other I mean you're gonna have a good time okay I see you you know I, I see the fact that you love being around this person I see the fact that your you know time flies really um, fast when you're with this person it doesn't matter you know what you're doing or where you go um, you just always have a good time with them they're great company um, you love being around them you feel very comfortable here um, but I don't necessarily and, and if you want to for some of you I feel like you want to talk about you know um, commitment or you want to talk about making things exclusive official or putting a title or a label to it I don't know that this is going to go down so well I mean it could but I don't and like they may nod their head in agreement and go yep 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 that sounds fine but then I feel like their body language or I feel like they will be inconsistent with what they say or what they agree agree to because again maybe they think they want those things but I'm not sure that I see them being ready for this they care about you they do and this could be someone that you know you started off on a friendship basis with um, but I do see that this person cares about you that's the other thing maybe that's what it is maybe that's what's getting in the way they care about you that they're scared to jeopardize this friendship that you guys share they're scared to jeopardize this connection because you know what if it doesn't work out right what if you try you know and it doesn't work out and what will happen after that I mean do you guys just stay on as friends will it be the same will it be a little bit awkward you know there's all of those things to consider and they don't want to lose you what happens if you go separate ways and that's it so I feel like that there's some of that as well this person is you know they're attracted to you they love having you as a friend uh, but they're scared that if you potentially do pursue this romantically they're scared that you know yes it might work out and it might be you know wonderful but what if it doesn't work out there's a 50 50 chance right what if it doesn't work out what then you know what if they lose you as a lover and as a friend what if it gets really awkward what if you guys work together and you have to see each other and you're gonna have to tiptoe around each other like they're thinking about all these things okay they're, they're kind of considering these things some of you I feel like um, okay this person next time you see each other I feel like there's going to be a date either I'm getting entertainment, film, theatre, uh, like an amusement park of some sort. Uh, it could be those um, gaming arcades. It could be a film premiere for some of you. I, I feel like there's some sort of entertainment, um, cinemas, theatres, plays. I feel like, I don't know if this person is in that industry. I don't know if they're aspiring to get to that industry or this is... Next time you see them, they're planning to take you to an event. And again, I see you having a blast. I see you having a fun time. I just don't know that, you know, your intentions are matching up with one another, aligning with each other. You know, they kind of want to things keep casual, keep things casual, and see how uh, things go from here. Whereas you want commitment, and you know, you want to make things official. And it just feels like the both of you are somewhat on different pages. But look, next time you see each other, you're, you're guaranteed to have a good time. Um, as you typically do with this individual. Okay, guys. And these are your messages. Also, I just want to add, if this is someone whom you were like separated from, if they ghosted you, I do see you seeing this person again face-to-face. -face. Um, but I don't see them taking any 
personal responsibility for what they've done to you. It's like they're almost like pretending like something didn't happen, like pretending that they didn't ghost you. They're going to brush it off very lightly, very easily. It's like they're going to waltz back into your life and try and pick things up where they left off. Trust me, it's the, that kind of energy. Like it's just them. And I don't know if it's them avoiding taking personal accountability or I don't know if this is your person and their character and that's just how they are. All right, guys, that's that. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you so much for your time and your energy and your attention. Bye for now.